Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Mark Jacasey. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding and there is no wind up to his movement. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. McGregor is five years the elder. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's the DC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of twelve wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at one hundred fifty-five pounds. Mark Bonfresha the Casey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. Only a professional record of twenty-one wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at one hundred fifty-five pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! The notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, could take yourself an all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long ready? time, and it ready? is gonna go down fight. right now. Well, it's a building rich in its fight history and tradition. We are at Madison Square Garden tonight, and we are underway here in New York City. So reach advantage for Conor McGregor here tonight. You know how well he understands and controls distance. Has had a lot of success with that in the past. We'll see how he approaches this one here in the early going as McGregor steps forward, oh! takes control of the octagon. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Big shots! The left hook hits home. He hurt him with that hook. I need to 
and able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by McGregor. How about that chin? So more out. Oh, that left hook hurt him. He's rocked. Oh, that head kick landed. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he moved right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Oh, Jacasey gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, I love how he stuck through with that left hand. Wow. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Jacasey. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Just missed with the left there. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, nice jab by Jacasey. Just out of range with that left hook. Excellent head movement. Just missed with that huge kick. He's fainting with the punch. Roundhouse kick, Joe. Unable to find the target. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Try to establish that jab. Caught him with a punch. Just misses there with the left. Big punches. Trying to get a single. Oh, Jacasey gets the takedown there. Now he flips him over in the side control. Big punch from the bottom. Effective strike there by Connor. 90 seconds now to go in the round. I think this is a brutal cut for him. He's looking to take the back. Working from side control. Elbow to the head there by McGregor. Into side control again. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, Jacasey gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but he just it. <laughs> that was awesome. Beautiful ground and pound KO. Love me some ground and pound, Joe, as he gets his opponent out of there and finishes the fight. He was not stalling whatsoever. Big shots from top position. It's one thing when you're trying to score. It's another thing when you're actually trying to end the fight. He was trying to finish the fight and certainly succeeded. Outstanding TKO victory for him there. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it again. Crank right on the jaw. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Well, what a legacy it has been for the two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor, and he only adds to it here tonight as he gets his hand raised yet again. Doubt this man at your own peril, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like every time the doubters get on board, Conor finds a way to mute them all, and he does exactly that here tonight. Another massive, massive win for the future UFC Hall of Fame.